Hey guys. Happy flipping Thursday, dudes. It's um getting to be about dinner. Put the casserole in the oven. And I figured I'd take a quick minute while the monkeys aren't around to talk about something that's been in my head for the past week or so. Um, it's in regard to a vid that Big Joey from Boston did a week ago. Um, it was called Re Hey Get Off My Back. Um, I gotta make a comment to Big Joey. I've been away from New England for the last 10 years now and I used to watch this old house just so I could hear him pack in the car because I was jonesing to get back home and I pack the car with the best of them when I get back there but I've kind of lost a lot of my accent anyway so when I need it when I when I need my fix now all I have to do is go to Big Joey and I can listen to him pack in his car all I want it's great anyway um, Jack Luck also made a response to this. His vid talked about um, a, a guy, uh, one of his tool bags, um, and how the guy was referring to religious beliefs uh, and, and brought up the point that if there's nothing after we die, no afterlife, no heaven, no reincarnation, what's the point of being good? And it really stuck in my head. Um, because, oh, it just drives me nuts, basically. Um, I don't want to talk so much about th that belief system, religious beliefs, because we could go around for hours with that. But rather, what I'd like to talk to is something that we're all familiar with, and that's getting your shit in order. <laughs> Um, for the past few years, you've all known it, most of you who are on this same kind of talk, the same kind of vids and watch the same kind of things I do. Um, I'm not going to get that. Um, where people are talking about, you know, oh, get water and, you know, get ready, something, shit's going to hit the fan and all this stuff's going to happen. Well, you know, hey, be prepared. I think it's an excellent idea to have fresh water and water for purifiers and extra supplies and stuff available in case something does happen. And from what I've heard, some stuff may happen this year. I don't know. I think we're pretty safe. But, um, but what I want to make the point of is getting your own personal shit in order. Um, so it does actually tie in with this tool bag of Joey's. Um, in that I think it's important that we're all crazy. I can barely find the time to make a video um, between work and home and all the crap you have to do. My point is that I think when I say get your stuff in order, trying to clean up my language a little bit, um, I mean get your own stuff, your personal stuff. I think this is extremely important. When they say get your house in order, I think you need to think about how in your day to make time to sit and think. Think about you and your emotional reactions and responses. Um, I think most of you know I'm a big into big into meditation. I meditate every day, um, and along with that is a lot of, I guess what you call prayer, although uh, it's more sitting and thinking like you did when you were a little kid. Um, and I don't get time to do that, add that in every day, but I've been doing it more in the last year or two. Um, because I think it's important for us to look at our emotional reactions, um, because they are reactions and responses, knee-jerk responses to people. When you're driving in the car and you're pissed at someone, or, and I'm from Boston, so that happened for most of my life up until a few years ago. My 83-year-old mother still gets pissed in the car. Um, and, of course, it's everybody else's fault. Uh, anytime something like this comes up for you, it's a, a wonderful way for you to look at and go, Wow, why did that person just piss me off? Or why did I get so angry? Um, most people don't take the time to stop and think about that. Um, it's really important for you right now to understand why it is that you get these reactions. 
so that you can understand them and move beyond them so that you're not going on going through life with blinders on about your own emotional responses um, it, it's like self psychology um, it's it takes a lot of time to think about wow that pissed me off why does it piss me off um, because it always has like I always say it comes back to you no it wasn't that person that pissed you off it's your response to it that you need to think about and um, so I, I'm just kinda coming on here today and saying it's time to get your shit together and figure out why you have these reactions when you do if you do some people are naturally mellow I don't happen to be one of them but um, so they don't you know maybe you don't I was reactive most of my life at a terrible time and um, I'd like to say that I'm pretty much finally deal, you know, dealt with that. Um, and I'm pretty happy most of the time. We need to get that stuff in order in the next coming years. Because um, that's just so much garbage in our personality that it's time to step over, leave behind, and move beyond. Um, so I just, I'd actually like your responses. What do you think of this? Do you take time to think about how you, you know, how you're reacting, how you're feeling to things? It may seem a silly thing, um, but when you when you see people that just seem to be really mellow, um, or I have anyway, I think, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to kind of take things in stride more and stop being going off on emotional tangents because because of all these reactions. Um, and I think that's a lot of what is important in the next few years for us to do. Clean up the karma, man. Clean it up. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to have you think. Just take a few minutes to think. You can do it when you go to bed. Why did your husband or wife piss you off? Why did your kids cause such a huge reaction for you? What can you do about it? Why is it, where is it coming from? Um, I really, really want to help you. You need to understand why you do what you do. Anyway, that's all I have to say. See you later. <laughs> Bye.